Hi, I'm Philip, front-end designer at Sparkbox. Let's take a look at accessible color contrast in web design. I was working on a project recently, and the question came up if a color was accessible or not. It seemed like it was, but we needed to test it. We ran it through a color contrast checker, and the color did not pass. It seemed like the color would pass, so that got me wondering why this color failed. What makes it so that a color passes or fails for accessibility? Web design is a highly visual field. Designers rely on the visual aspects of space, size, shape, position, and color to create and communicate. And to be honest, accessibility kind of feels like one of our most prized tools is being taken away. As I dug into why this color failed, I started to recognize the frustration I've seen within my design team and other designers out there. To a designer, Accessibility can feel like it hinders the design process and the design aesthetics. I think a lot of people understand that accessible websites are important. We understand the what and the how behind making accessible websites, but we don't fully understand the reasons behind these recommendations. The job of design has always been about the audience's perception over the designer's personal preference. After all, if a design does not communicate effectively, it really isn't doing its job. The fascinating thing about web design is actually how little control we have over the medium. Compared to other design mediums, the lack of control is staggering. Sure, with CSS and JavaScript, we can detect some aspects of the device or screen and adapt the design. But we don't know the brightness of the screen or the lighting around the device. We don't know if the device has some kind of light blocking filter covering it, and we definitely don't know the conditions of the very eyes looking at the website. There's a wide gamut of eye conditions between total vision loss and full color 2020 eyesight. According to a 2017 stat from the Center for Disease Control, 90 million Americans that are 40 and over have vision and eye problems of some kind. Additionally, 93 million Americans aged 18 and over are at high risk for some stage of vision loss. It's important to keep in mind how much assistive technology for eyesight is taken for granted. If you're like me, you're one of the over 150 million Americans who requires glasses or contacts to see clearly. Others with vision conditions such as cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic retinopathy use the high-tech assistance provided through their computers, phones, and tablets. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about color contrast and web design, check out these videos.